Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic the control schedule process of project management. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam or PMP in near future. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, control schedule is basically a process defined in the Project Management Board of Knowledge PMBOK Guide, which is basically a book issued by PMI, Project Management Institute. P where PMI is a non-profit based organization which is based in USA and, um, and the very popular and a very well recognized certificate of uh, PMI is PMP certificate. So one of the process uh, in the project schedule management is a control schedule process. Control schedule process is basically a part of monitoring and controlling process group <coughs> and the main purpose of control schedule is to monitor and control the progress of the project schedule. Let me give an example here. For example, you are implementing a project. For example, you are implementing e-commerce solution and after some discussion and planning session, you have developed a schedule which says that you will complete a project within four months, for example. And uh, you have identified the milestones and activities as well that in the month of January you will do such activities in February you will do such activities so overall uh, you have a schedule of like a schedule means the starting date and the ending date of the overall project and the detailed timelines of uh, the uh, of the basically of every milestone of every task is also there okay starting date ending date assigned resources dependencies and the uh, cost as well so now uh, this is the schedule you have okay that means the starting and ending date of the project now in the control schedule basically you are monitoring and controlling the schedule if there are any deviations from the planned schedule so you have to take the adjustment and so that the project can get back on track actually if you notice that if there are any deviations the project is getting off track so you definitely take uh, raise the red flag and so that a project can get back on the track as well so that is basically the concept of a control schedule first one uh, the, if we talk about inputs for this process is the project management plan the project management plan has basically uh, bas is a subset of different uh, projects like uh, different uh, documents like for example scope document uh, scope management plan, uh, communication management plan. One of the plan, one of the thing in the project management plan is the schedule baseline. Schedule baseline is basically the approved schedule in the planning phase. Like in the planning phase, you have uh, the management approved that the project must have to be completed within four months. For example, so this is the baseline. Like it will start in the month of January and by end of April the project should be finished so this is the schedule baseline whenever we talk about baseline basically we are talking about the measurement of the performance like a schedule baseline means that you will measure the performance of schedule um, schedule with respect to the approved schedule okay <clears throat> next is the project schedule project schedule B means the uh, planned start and finish dates for each activity milestones dependencies and resource requirements so this is a project schedule another input is the work performance data that means the actual performance of work that how project is actually going on uh, the status of activity activities whether they are complete or not percent complete and the actual start and finish dates so this is the actual information that the work performance like how actually the work is going on next is the organizational process assets that means the historical informations any lesson learned documents organizational knowledge in the past which we have done for controlling the project schedule then tools and techniques which we used uh, for the control schedule process first one is the performance reviews performance reviews means that uh, you review the work which is going on uh, with respect to the schedule baseline that this can include assessing the status of milestones critical path activities and overall progress for example simply that in the month of january 
the uh, development must have to be completed for example software the software development must have to be completed as per the schedule if that uh, development is not completed like in the month of uh, in the mid of january you have noticed that project development is not going as per the plan so you must have to take the uh, you must have to raise the red flag and take the corrective action in that case then the project management software like gantt charts critical path analysis and project scheduling normally we use microsoft project as well for such types of uh, for software so you can use such softwares as well so that you can get an insight about the actual status of project then resource labeling resource labeling means that you balance the workload many times it happens that one resource is over occupied and one resource is uh, underutilized so a resource labeling means that the work should be divided equally among the resources then what if scenario uh, what if scenario means that this is basically the concept of alternative an analysis like you will see that what are the alternate available if that you can say uh, uh, if this happens uh, so what you will do in that case so basically this is simply uh, in simple way it is the concept of alternate analysis alternate options analysis then change control change control is another uh, thing uh, that means uh, you have to uh, you have to think uh, you have to manage if there are any changes coming in the project like uh, for example initially it was decided that five modules needs to be developed now customer is saying that one more module is needed so it was not part of the scope it was not part of the schedule so what you will do you have to analyze the assess the impact of the change in terms of time and cost and you have to get it approved from the uh, relevant management the output of this process is the work performance information that means the uh, information about the project progress including how well it adhering to the schedule baseline okay so this is very very important either a project is going as per the uh, as per the baseline of a schedule or not then a schedule forecast is another uh, output that means you can uh, you can predict uh, based on the current uh, progress you can predict that how much time is required to complete a project then change request that means if there are any discrepancies or issues identified during the control schedule process change request may be generated to address them then project management plan uh, that means maybe uh, maybe there needs to uh, changes uh, in the schedule uh, such as, as adjustment to resource allocation constraints or risk response constraints are the limitations that means uh, limitation in terms of time and cost and risk response planning as mean that risk response plan mean that if there are any risk uncertainty so how will you manage it manage it risk response issue uh, you are you are expecting some risk in the project and what is the response of that then project document updates is another output that means updation of documents like risk register issue log so uh, these documents may need to be updated as an output of this process the action uh, during this uh, control schedule process is the comparison with the baseline baseline means that uh, whatever was decided in the planning phase uh, with respect to schedule uh, baseline it should have to be properly uh, compare compare with the actual like it is a comparison between plan and the actual then the analysis of the critical path critical path is the longest duration on the uh, project so that means examine the critical path to ensure that activities on the critical path are progressing as planned because if there are any delay in the critical path it will definitely delay the overall project as well then resource management ensuring that the resources are being used efficiently and effectively adjust resource allocation if necessary to address over allocation or under utilization as well this is basically concept of resource labeling addressing the variances variances basically the concept of planned minus uh, actual like for example in the planned is that uh, in the 10 days uh, abc task task 1 has to be completed and actual is the 15 days so that means there is a delay of 5 days okay so that is basically the concept of variance simply so the control schedule process is an integral part of project management that helps ensure that the project stays on track and meets the objectives within the defined schedule constraints regular monitoring analysis and adjustments are critical to successful schedule control so friend thank you thank you and thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching